All right, thanks, Brad. And don't forget, everybody, you can keep get up to the minute weather conditions where you are with our Weathercaster app. It's free. It's in the App Store. Just search NBC Charlotte. New at six, a controversial statue of Jesus Christ is the talk of the town tonight. Take a look at this sculpture. It's outside a church in Davidson. It sparked debate between neighbors and church leaders about whether it's appropriate. NBC Charlotte reporter Tony Burbeck is live at St. Albans Episcopal Church. And Tony, you have learned that two other cathedrals already had actually rejected that statue. Yeah, on the sculptor's website, basically what it says is two different cathedrals, one in New York, another in Canada, simply didn't want this. And here, yeah, it has basically some mixed emotions. Go ahead and take a look at this right here. Now, some folks love this, but others simply wish this wasn't here. From a distance, especially at dusk, you would swear this is a homeless man sleeping on a bench in front of St. Albans Episcopal Church. Cindy Castano Swanick drove by it. I did call the police. I was coming home late one evening and I was concerned for the safety of the neighborhood. A closer look reveals this is metal, not flesh and bone. Crucifixion marks in the feet offer the only clue to the man's identity, Homeless Jesus, a controversial sculpture by Canadian artist Timothy Schmaltz. It's Jesus representing the, the mar most marginalized of society. And to St. Albans rector David Buck, it's beautiful, it's art, it's religion. We're reminded of what our ultimate calling is as Christians, as people of faith, to um, do what we can individually and systemically to eliminate homelessness. A part of a faith commitment is to care for the needy. The sculpture includes room to sit on the bench. Help us to keep the marginalized in our minds. Help us to do something for them. An interactive experience, Buck says, with church members like Chuck Dillman being that much closer to God and using the sculpture to pray. If you've been through what, what I've been through. <laughs> it brings you right up here with them. Yeah. yeah. It just gives me an overwhelming sense of peace and comfort. I can't understand why anyone wouldn't want this. That's not who Jesus is. Swanick says it's an inappropriate message, wrong for the neighborhood, and says Jesus should be standing over the homeless, protecting them, not being one of them. Jesus is not a vagrant. Jesus is not a helpless person who needs our help. So how did this get here? Well, part of the answer is spelled out on this plaque right here. Basically, it is a church member who set aside money years ago for a friend and fellow church member who died back in 2007. And they finally decided that they were going to use that money for an art project. And this is it. We're live tonight in Davidson. Tony Burbeck, NBC Charlotte. According to the sculptor's website, Pope Francis blessed and accepted homeless Jesus into Vatican City. Now, we'd like to know what you think. We're asking on our Facebook page, do you think this statue is art or do you find it offensive? You can be part of the conversation by liking our Facebook page and posting your comment.